Hey guys, so I'm heading to my mom's for a little bit to let Dex run around. She's really wanting to be outside and it's pretty nice out right now. It's 46 degrees. And it's April 21st, I believe. I don't even know what day it is, honestly. Still going to work. And so I'm not like quarantined as much as I was. And I think we only have one confirmed case in our county. So, I mean, that's pretty good, I think. I wanna see what you guys were doing. And I'm, I'm just gonna walk around with her and then drink some coffee with my mom. She'll probably have tea because she won't be able to sleep if she has coffee this late. I'll sleep, I can drink iced coffee and then go straight to bed because I take melatonin, so. But I'm just coming on here. I know that the new moon's coming up and I wanted to do a group Reiki session and a group reading for my patrons. So that's something I gotta do. And then I have another healing, probably either tonight or tomorrow. I haven't scheduled it yet, so. I'm just really trying to take one day at a time. You know, I feel my energy is becoming more and more relaxed, which is a good thing. I'm just trying to think what I can do as far as content because right now I'm feeling kind of uninspired right now and I always seem to get inspired when I'm about ready to fall asleep and it's like oh, dang it and then I don't write it down because I don't have paper and pen handy or I'm just lazy and I don't want to get up and do it so I'm not sure, I really, there was some ideas I had on my patron, and then I don't think I ever got to them, so I really need to go back and see what they were when I was inspired, and then try to get them done, and then I really need to have like an inspiration session with myself, and just, you know, try to find ideas to do different content, and yeah, I think the one, I done a tag, I believe, on one of my vlogs but I don't know if that ever got uploaded I don't remember because you know I had to delete two things of video which was like over an hour long they got deleted so I was like dang it and you know I'm just really trying to do some shadow work I really need to do some of that in my own healing and I feel like I'm getting in the the energy of needing to clean and organize again and I keep having dreams about crystals <laughs> so I feel like maybe there's some more my crystals are asking me to work more with them and then maybe get some new ones later when I have the money and time and you know discovering which ones are calling to me and then I was also having, I keep having these visions and I keep seeing different color orbs around me. I see two of them today and usually I see them, you know, once in a great while. Like I might get lucky if I see one once a month. And today I saw two. So that was an interesting thing. So I just want to know what you guys are doing during the quarantine. Are you reading any good books? Are you watching any good Netflix series? You know, are you guys doing more art or just coloring in your adult books? Coloring books? Are you doing poetry or like, are you just kind of doing a lot of self-care? I do have some new listings on my website and two of them is kind of updated. One's brand new and I think 
once updated and those are my memberships and the one is unlimited for the year and then the other one is a monthly subscription and if you're a patron then you already have a 50 percent no it's not i think it was a 20 percent and then i had like a 70 percent i don't know i had a big i had a big percentage off so if you're a patron you get that you know you can use that in my shop I thought about doing, again, I'm not sure what to invest in for my website and my products because I thought about making my own candles from scratch because right now I just use tea lights and then I engrave them and dress them and anoint them and then seal them. But I thought about making them from scratch and making them bigger and then I also thought about doing some like bath soaks and oils and sprays because I do I like to make rose spray and Reiki spray so I thought about doing that but I wasn't for sure what I should be doing and if that's something my clientele will invest in or want to so that's just kind of what I'm thinking about and Sorry guys, the yawn came out of nowhere. So I'm just gonna go to my mom's with her for a little bit. I think you can see her. She's probably hiding, but I was just thinking about, you know, going to my mom's and then when I get home, I might do some meditation and I need to take a shower and then I thought maybe I can sit down if I have enough time and do a quick, you know, inspiration session and maybe try to make a vision board. And I don't know if I'm going to have, you know, the time to do it, like frame it and put it on a piece of paper. I thought about doing a digital one and putting it on my phone because I done that with my other one. I kind of got poster board from the dollar store and I on a you know a vision board that I took a picture of it and put it on my background on my phone and that to me I would say over 90% almost a hundred percent of that came to fruition you know so that's something I really want to consider doing again but maybe just leave out the paper part because the paper slid down in my nightstand and I keep picking it up and it keeps dropping down and that's an older one so I'm thinking maybe instead of taking more room up I could just do it on my phone and my laptop and go from there but we'll see I'm not sure yet but I'm almost here it's like I said it's really nice out now it says it's 52 the sun's shining right on the vehicle, as you can tell, it might have got a little brighter. But, I'll be back soon. I might chop, you know, a bunch of other videos together and integrate them. And then just make one big vlog, you know, it might be throughout the next couple days. You know, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to create more content tonight. It just, you know, all depends. And if I do, it's probably just going to be like little clips of the woods or me at home doing you know things around the house but i will talk to you guys soon thank you for listening to me blab about random stuff that i probably have on repeat blessings
Me and Vex are heading home. And I get some things done before bedtime. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> kind of a gimp driver right now. Anyway, so we're going home and I'm gonna try to get some things set out for the day tomorrow. I'm gonna, you know, get my clothes ready and get uh get my you know meals ready and my drinks for tomorrow. And I'm thinking about going in around 10. So I'm excited about that because I really like my job so yeah so I'm just kind of taking it easy and you know thinking about what I can do next for my content. I think Dex had a good time outside. It's kind of windy and cold, but it's nice at the same time. If it wasn't so windy, we probably could have been out more, but I'm really thinking that we can go back this weekend if it's not too bad. And then um, I'm hoping to go see my grandpa. I gotta call him probably tomorrow. We've been chatting on a uh, Google Duo. It's kind of awesome. And I really want to start doing more, more listings on my website. You know, I've been thinking about doing like Skype readings and healings, you know, and because I think that'd be beneficial to people that are, you know, quarantined but still want more of a personalized listing and I had a conversation with one of my friends slash clients the other day and she, it's a funny story she used to be my boss so like she I had to slowly open up to her about these things you know and so she was telling me that you know I do really well with my readings so she's like why don't you just why don't you raise your prices you you do so much in your readings and you're so talented and accurate in your gifts and I'm like well spirits help me out with that you know it's I always give the credit to my guides and angels and god and goddess and the spirits I communicate with that give me this information that's so accurate and clear. And she's like, yeah, but you need to like, get your money, you know, the, the, the amount you deserve for the quality. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I just don't wanna take advantage. And it's not really even about taking advantage anymore. It's more like, because like she says, it's, it's well worth the money she would even be willing to pay more but the problem is I told her is that I know some people can't afford that you know but I look at other people and it's a bad thing to you know it's good to compare what people around you are you know getting for their their services that might only have a fourth of what you're putting into it but they're you know like fifty dollars or sixty or 120 for a you know well, it's a very in-depth reading, but to me, it's more standard than anything, and I just don't want to take advantage, you know, because, I mean, it is worth that amount, if, in my opinion, from their point of view, and then I put a lot in mine as well, probably more than that price, but I don't feel like I'm there yet, and I really don't think it's... tribe don't need to I don't want to over I don't want them to overcompensate you know so I feel like when it's that time then I will adjust my price 
prices, but right now I just want to do what I'm doing, you know, I, I have an income coming in that I work hard for outside of my business, so it's not like Raven and Hope is the only income right now. If it was, that might be a different story, and hopefully I will get there, but that's just something I've been thinking about and discussing with people, and I really just feel like I really want to sometime in my life, I want to do some more investigations, like paranormal investigations, because I've been feeling a lot of energies around me lately, and I think I discussed this in the first part. If I didn't, I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but lately <clears throat> I've just been seeing a lot of orbs, and I kind of talked about that earlier in the first part of this video, and I won't repeat that part again, but it's more I feel spirit really trying to get me to spend more time on my business and realize that it can grow. It's just not going to be readings and healings the rest of my life. It can grow and it can prosper in many ways. And I've even considered writing not only courses, online courses, aside from the certified courses that I have available, you know, if someone uh, requests them through like Reiki and tarot and things like that, but I've considered making my own ebooks, consider writing a book, you know, things like that. So I'm just, you're really thinking about that. And then another thing is I've been thinking a lot about, I see a lot of people give a lot of like two or three times the amount more than they are paying with me to go see, you know, someone famous, which obviously that those people are worth the money and they can't guarantee that they're going to get their reading. It's just more like being out in a crowd and being able to see that famous person read other people. But I guess with mine, that's why I want to make sure that, yeah, you might not pay two or three hundred dollars for a group, a group ticket to see Ed, John Edwards, but you're still getting the same, the same truth and the same quality for less and one-on-one. -on -one. So it just kind of made me wonder, aside from, you know, the label of being famous, what else are they seeking from that that I cannot give them right now so that I can grow up, not to be famous, but to give them that quality that they would love to pay for that price just to have the chance of being heard, you know, or have the chance to hear their loved ones, you know, what else is behind that label or that fame that maybe I'm not seeing from a different perspective. It might not have nothing to do with their, their fame. It might just be the quality of person they are, you know, so I'm not sure. I just been thinking about things like that. So I'm getting close to being home and I hope that you don't mind I'm showing you the road because I feel like I, when I drive I show you guys myself too much and I don't know some of you might like to see me some of you might would like to see the scenery where I live so I'm just trying to switch it up and yes we go over one hill and then we go down and we're in the middle and then you go up another hill and go down <laughs> and like there's a cemetery so it's an interesting road <laughs> So I'll see you guys later, and I will probably be recording more, but I will talk to you guys soon. Blessed be. Hey guys, I just want to come on here and kind of end the video. I did make a video that is, you know, kind of mixed together. It's going to be really un uneventful. It's going to be like all my other videos, which is probably has no point to it. It's just a lot of ramblings, but I... 
went ahead and I done a review on this deck. What my thoughts were, went through a flip through and that will be uploading to my channel soon if you guys are interested in that. And right now I'm burning two different incense. I'm burning a Reiki one and then a Golden Era one. And yes, I'm in my pajamas, hope you guys don't mind. And I got some candles burning and I have kind of came up to the conclusion that I really need to get a new tripod for my camera, for my phone, my camera, however you want to say it, just because I went to go do a video and I was in the middle of the first segment of it, like the first minute, and it just decides to fall over and my camera and my camera slash phone through, went flying through the room and went underneath the table. And so I had a lot of trouble with that so yeah I put my little sign back there and so I really wanted to find a decent priced tripod so that I can move things around and not worry about knocking it over because right now this other one the legs are all broke and there is no secure attachment to have my phone stay put so I have to be extremely, extremely still, unlike I am right now, because it'll fall over. It basically just sits, I'll show you. It sits right here like this, and there's like, it just kind of rests on there with no clip or nothing, so. I'm gonna have to invest in that. And I'm like, I don't wanna invest in it, but I need to for my business and just for my own sanity probably. And I am still trying to go through things. I've been having a lot of weird dreams and I think I really need to work on my own craft right now because I've been distracted as probably everybody else looking online too much, even though I do work. I've just been putting too much time into investing in other people's businesses and I'm not investing in my own and that's been showing. <laughs> so that's something I really need to work towards. And I don't know, I just, I'm having a hard time believing in my own craft and my own self. And that's something I need to work through as well. Because when I am focused, I do make a lot of a lot of good outcomes but now it's just been kind of everywhere and my empath ability has gotten stronger but I'm starting to learn how to slowly manage it and before I wasn't at all and obviously there's been a lot of results because of that and I'm just really trying to keep things together and I am hoping to make some more listings like I talked about in my other video might be merged with this video as well and I want to sell some crystals I have some decks I'm not using I want to sell and I've you know thought about and like I talked previously investing in things that I can make products in so making more sprays to sell for you guys on my shop like rose water so you can use it on your face and because when I started using that when I homemade it my acne wasn't as prominent and I stopped using it and now it's very prominent again so uh I have been just really wanting to work on that and I want to do some bath soaks and with Reiki in them because I have got a lot of salt I ordered so much salt I ordered dead sea salt coarse and then I ordered some pink Himalayan sea salt. So I wanted to make some bath soaks with, you know, and containers and then give satchels. So you can either just put it in there without a satchel or with one, depending on how much cleanup you want in your bath. And I thought about, along with the bath soaks and the sprays, I thought about doing tea lights, some more tea lights maybe even make some votives and I was considering doing some loose incense blends and 
there was something else I wanted to do. Oils. Roll-on oils. So that's just something I'm thinking about considering and implementing. So we'll see. It just all depends on what you guys are looking for. And I've kind of came to the conclusion that I am creative, though I'm not someone that is creative as far as making and scent blends and, you know, candles. I do do it, but not as not as professional or as beautiful as some other witches out there and that's fine i'm more of a channeler i'm more of a creative person as far as when it comes to my mind and coming up with like poems and you know writing things and that's fine too so i'm just going to stick to my reiki and <laughs> doing the little bit that i know how to do and not stress myself out and doing the comparison game like I have been because that's been very destructive. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I'm working and I'm enjoying it. It's a lot less stressful than it was. So much more. It went from like 100% stressful to like maybe 10% stressful. That's how much more my job I am at. I enjoy and I'm hoping me and my husband go on a trip soon. Just, you know, not even too far, like not even an hour away from us. Just to get some, when it gets warmer, just get some time out in nature. Kind of away from everything. And I want to get, we want to get some furniture. But who knows if that'll happen anytime soon. Because, you know things come up but I cannot wait for my witch casket to come in it should be coming in soon that's my last witch casket because I didn't subscribe again I was too late and they sold out so I wasn't gonna subscribe and mess it all up again and get three orders on mistake um so I'm hoping to resubscribe when the right time comes and I get it in the time frame that they're expecting so I can get the box, you know, and what else? I got a lot of books to read, guys. I was thinking about doing a to-be-read pile, you know, a book pile, and then I do got to finish that Santa Morte book. I really need, that's one of my goals, to get done this month, by the end of this month, because if not the end of this month, beginning of next, because I've been kind of slowly going through that book and I keep getting distracted and getting into other things so she is relaxing she see I want to do something with this corner over here and I wanted to make it almost like a I want to make almost like an inside like a sacred space but outside if that makes sense so I want to get a fountain and have my oil oil diffuser, my incense burner, a candle, bring in some plants, get some twinkly lights, have a lot like a green healing area over there. I mean, it'll have different colors over there, obviously, as you can tell, but from there to there, you know, to that wicker table. So, it's not very much space, but, like, if you can see, I just want it to be, like, my, me and hers grounding space. Almost as if when we can't go outside in the winter or when the weather's bad, we can veg out in here and still get the benefits. I thought about getting a earthing mat, but I don't know if that's worth the money. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know if, what your guys' opinion is, if it's worth the money or not. Again, if I can't get that, then I was thinking about getting some plants, if I don't kill them. And if I, even if I get, you know, just you know, the fake plants, as long as it kind of gives me that placebo effect that I can breathe better, 
with my, you know, fountain and essential oils and incense and candles and doing my exercises and stretches and yoga and meditation and everything, then, you know, it'll be, it'll replenish me better because me and her both, it's almost like me and her both need to be outside in order to get her second wind or even just revitalize herself and de-stress. So I'm trying to find ways to incorporate it in the home without needing to go outside every single day and be out there for an hour because we could be out there for hours, but we don't always have the time. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can do that, I'd appreciate it. And just let me know what you guys do in order to get the same or similar benefits if you can't go outside what you do that won't take very long because sometimes I can I, I have hours to do it and then I just end up scrolling on my phone and self-sabotage myself so I'm trying to find ways that I can still get the benefits of being outside for an hour or even you know like I am out for 15 minutes and I still get the same energy recharge and kind of release the energies that I don't need inside. I don't know how else to say. I'm kind of repeating myself, but you know what I mean? I talk in circles like my dad. My mom gets irritated with me, but you know, I, I just want to explain it the best way. And sometimes I think I'm explaining it and then I'm like, no, that does that make sense. So yeah. She wants to go to bed. I know she does if she's sleeping, you know. But I love it in here. This is my room. This is my Zen room. And I have very healing energies in here. But I feel like I need it to be a little bit more clear. If that makes sense. Or a little bit more earth. More earth energy in here. For me to want to come here more, come in this room more often than being in the bedroom and vegging out on my phone and the TV screen. You know, when I have to do something for someone else, like a reading or healing, I'm in here, you know, right away. Uh, I can schedule that kind of stuff. When it always comes to other people, I'm good at scheduling it. But when it comes to me, no. So I really need to find something that will motivate me or inspire me. If you guys have just for that, I appreciate it. But I'm going to go because you're probably sick of hearing me. But I just wanted to show you again. She's so cute. She's my baby girl. But I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave all my links down below to my Instagram, my Facebook, my website, my patron. And I have a Twitter. I don't use, use it very much. But I will give it to you just to be, you know, if you guys are interested. And hopefully soon I will be doing, like, monthly monthly group options that are free. So, like, I want to kind of do a, a monthly moon phase healing and reading. So, it'll just probably be for the new moon and dark, well, the dark moon slash new moon. Same thing. And then the full moon. So... For you guys along with the zodiacs and random boring vlogs and reviews <laughs> and hauls so again i'll talk to you guys soon i hope you are doing great and i'll let you guys go blessings